Grids are a helpful tool that you can use in Autodesk Graphic to align content and objects too. Here we have a new document that's just 8.5 by 11. You can access the grid settings under the properties panel. You can choose whether to show the grid and choose whether to snap to the grid just by ticking these boxes. Then we have the spacing of the grid. We can customize how the grid is set up for our document. So we can click in here and for this one I'm going to set this up for print and choose eighth of an inch. So I put in 0.125 for my X spacing and 0.125 to have a eighth inch square grid. The subdivisions here are set to six. You'll see that there are more prominent lines in our grid that signify the subdivisions. So for example, if I made this eight, that would be eight times what I've put in my X and Y spacing. So I have more prominent lines at one inch, and inside of those, I have eighth inch squares. With the snap to grid selected, if I choose to start drawing a rectangle, for example, you can see that it snaps to this current grid setting. So I could create a 1 8 inch by 1 8 inch square very quickly and very precisely. You'll also notice that not just my sizing of an object is snapping to the grid, but also the position. So as I begin dragging this around, you'll notice it snaps to the grid. Grids can also help us using the pen tool or plotting points to create new shapes. All of our nodes will snap to the grid as well. And even our handles while creating curves. The grid really helps when you need to create things with precision. If you'd like, you can change the color of the grid for both directions, so if I'd rather to see my grid in a different color, I can just click on the swatch next to it and bring up my normal color picker. I can also change the color of the subdivisions to something different if I'd like as well. If you haven't yet, try out the grid in Autodesk Graphic to help you create things with more precision. Thanks for watching.